How's it going, guys? Past level question, pharmacology, step one, internal medicine, TCK. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give you a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram threads, melman underscore medical, MEHL, man underscore medical, links down below for me Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start with clip. 54 year old man brought into emergency by his wife after being found in the yard of labored respirations. His old exam shows diaphoresis and excessive lacrimation salivation. He has fecal urinary incontinence. An initial, an initial pharmacologic agent is administered. Which of the following is the most likely second pharmacologic therapy initiated in its mechanism of action? As I said, it's past level. This is organophosphate poisoning. You need to know this is classically uh, someone with a, uh, engaging in a suicide attempt. It can be a farmer. It can be a young adult picking fruit. They want you to know on one of the two CK questions. Uh, they ask which of the following could have prevented this patient's presentation. Wearing a mask, wrong answer. The correct answer is wearing gloves. So you don't get it through inhalation. You get it through the skin. You need to know organophosphates are cholinesterase inhibitors. The phosphate group binds to cholinesterase, inhibiting the enzyme, meaning we can't break down acetylcholine, meaning we have too much acetylcholine floating around the synaptic cleft, meaning too much acetylcholine binding to its receptors, okay? Nicotinic muscarinic receptors. So we get dumbbells. That's the mnemonic for procholinergic effects, diarrhea, urination, meiosis, pupillary constriction, bradycardia, uh, bronchoconstriction, excitation, neuromuscular, lacrimation, salivation, sweating. Tangentially, anticholinergic effects would be the opposite of dumbbells, right? So not diarrhea, but constipation. Not urination, but urinary retention. Not meiosis, but madriasis, pupillary dil dilatation. So we have uh, procholinergic effects here of organophosphate poisoning. And you need to know, it's not the correct answer in this case, but you need to know that the initial pharmacologic agent administered is atropine, which is a muscarinic receptor antagonist. It's not the answer here, as I said, but they ask that on the NBME exams where they say they give you an easy vignette of organophosphate poisoning, and then they have uh, atropine as the answer, pralidoxime, wrong fucking answer. Okay, so atropine acts quickly, blocks muscarinic receptors, so nonspecifically. So holy shit, what's the second drug we're going to give? And the answer is pralidoxime. Okay, I said it's past level. And you need to know that the mechanism of pralidoxime is that it regenerates acetylcholinesterase. That's what it does. So it kicks out the phosphate group that organophosphates had obviously stuck on there. So it kicks out the phosphate group and it regenerates the acetylcholinesterase. But of course, that doesn't act as quickly as the atropine, which is why the atropine is given first. So atropine, muscarinic receptor antagonist, follow, followed by pralidoxime, which regenerates acetylcholinesterase. You have to be careful with these questions because you need to know that students get confused about cholinergic versus anticholinergic. You need to know that organophosphate poisoning is procholinergic. Okay, but then the treatments, atropine followed by pralidoxime, are anticholinergic agents. Okay, now quickly about pyridostigmine, which is clearly wrong fucking answer, but this is a cholinesterase inhibitor that can be used for myasthenia gravis. I've seen it as an answer on USMLE for myasthenia gravis. In this case, wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.